near the Polish-Belarusian border 60 years after World War II. Out of the vast and beautiful western forests of Belarus, the sun rises on one of God's great redemption stories, Dom Milosserda, the House of Mercy. Dedicated to God, focused on the care of the most fragile in society, the disabled, the elderly, the broken and bruised Belarusian, those no longer of high value to governments and economies. God spoke to Stepan Trubchik, church layman and deacon, visionary dreamer, construction expert. God said, speak to your American Mennonite missionary friend about this vision. Your Missouri friends who love Belarus so much. God said to those friends, including the Baptist home, the Macedonian call has come again to you. Can you hear the Belarusians calling? Will you come over and help us? The Baptist Home's commitment to global aging missions is a firm commitment to serve frail and aging humanity, believers and unbelievers, around the world as God opens doors. With ongoing obedience to God's call, the Baptist Home in 2006 commissioned the team of Margaret Woolley and Jim Nelson to see the opportunity and share it with the board. In September 2006, the visionary and faithful board of the Baptist Home launched what has turned out to be a multi-year emphasis on helping Belarusians. The charge was to turn a dilapidated Soviet stone building into a Christian elder care community, no small task. For over two years, they found stumps in the field, the stump of interpersonal struggles, a stump of denominational strife, a stump of conflict of interests, a stump of closed communication, a stump of lack of trust. The field was empty of leadership, vision, trust, investment, spiritual fortitude, and resolve. That's when new leadership entered in the form of Igor Mikhlaev to answer God's call to this unique ministry in Belarus and Eastern Europe. Igor took the reins to recast vision, build trust, focus energy, and finish building the wall like Nehemiah. His team invested in people, people like Inna Vandich and Anastasia Filateva, both sent from God. Not only has God brought new leadership to the House of Mercy, but also to the entire campus. Pavel Mishenko is a highly trained and educated leader with a compassionate heart, a special needs child, and a vision whose friendship with Igor has forged a strong bond. Today, for nearly 30 residents, the House of Mercy is home. Some have died here. Some have found Christ as Savior here. All have found a haven of physical and spiritual security from the care they have received in the name of Christ. Financial and economic help has come from Belarusian family members and churches, counsel and training from geriatric educators in the United States, training on aging issues from American academic faculty, additional building support from a German foundation, teaching from Ukrainian and American church leaders, some of whom work in healthcare and long-term care ministries. Mother Teresa from Calcutta once approached her superiors and announced, I have three pennies and a dream from God to build an orphanage. Her superiors could not believe what they were hearing. After laughing at her, they said, You can't build an orphanage with three pennies. With three pennies, you can't do anything. She just smiled and replied, I know, but with God and three pennies, I can do anything. Adniram Judson, the first Baptist global missionary, once said, The future is as bright as the promises of God. The same can be said, for the House of Mercy. Near the Polish-Belarusian border 60 years after World War II, out of the vast and beautiful western forests of Belarus, the sun rises on one of God's great redemption stories, Dom Milosserda, the House of Mercy. For more information, contact the Baptist Home toll-free 866-454-2709 by email at desk at the Baptist Home dot org or visit the website www.thebaptisthome.org.